Chris Spirit is a hero that can kind of engage Clark and push whatever. Having two force be out. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. They, all, they have decent. And Amber is also here. doesn't care about the X combo. I feel like 4DR is one of those people that can do it correctly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can use this light of fist to dodge stuff as well. It's pretty Five mm. seconds remaining. Probably gonna be that doom. I expect some. Yeah, at Sorry, minimum, right? some sort of a Lincoln's on the Ember Spirit. There's just no way that he can afford not to have it. Right, so pretty decent draft by both sides. The mid lane's gonna be tough for the Ember. Mm -hmm. The off lane, I do expect as you not gonna have a tough time. It's gonna have a tough time. It doesn't. Who expects Kairos Major? And the safe lane for Luka. Probably uh, farm fast for both. If that's the lane, that's expected. He might try. That's definitely possible. All right. Loading into the game, we get that immediate pause. Let's us know we're in a pro match, right, Bowie? Yeah. Oh, so since we have a pause, and since this is a Brazil versus Brazil game, I actually have trivia for you. Try okay. to learn Portuguese, but that's yes. your time. So here in Brazil, it's pretty common that people... Okay. I'm gonna give you three options. What a lunchbox is, box is called. <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Alright, so we have Armita. We have KF, Flatters, PF, and we have uh, King Chinya. What is... I feel like it's either Marmita or the, the last one that you said, King... Not necessarily wrong. Three of those are actually correct, so... We have really? One of Marmita, call for a PF. What is the actual translation on them, that they all mean the so... same thing as one slang? Yeah, a lot of them, uh, PF is a slang, because it's okay. called, actually, Prato Feito, like, okay. they just make the meal for you. Usually a cheap meal, there, and they... That sounds good, I'm totally down with that, the PF. <laughs> <laughs> Marmita is just... <laughs> Do you guys have the word? That's, that's a brand. No, I don't you think so. You know when so. you store food? Uh, yeah. What's the name of the thing you store food? Uh, like bags or do you mean containers? Yeah, the container. There's containers like, we do Tupperware up here. That's kind of yeah. like the name or like Another glass lock. Of Tupperware. Okay. Mar we have Marmite packs and it ended up... Marmita? Okay. Cantina is just because uh, usually when like there's a you it's gonna be kind of hot so uh -huh. like hot yeah it reminds me of um i think it's a mexican word cantina right uh no no, no. that that's different cantina is like a cantina is like a place you go to like a bar yeah but there's yeah. also i think you can use it in a different i don't know if that's necessarily mexican if it's another latin american one but i think cantina Probably also italian, has actually italian has something else that's oh. away, baby. Yeah, well, we learned three words. This is cool, yeah. Oh. Now I know. A little Play bit of way. Brazilian trivia here. What's happening here? Easy breezy. Hey, I hope. Everyone's Yeah. On. Yeah, everyone's still here. We're all connected, so that's good. Even I'm connected this time. <laughs> Ah, man. The amount of just concern that I had when I couldn't come back in was very, uh, poor Bowie. Hats off to Bowie, guys, because, like, I got knocked out of the game. Uh, Bowie kept casting, doing his best. It's really, really tough when things go wrong to, like, focus on the game and bring you, you know, the hype and everything. So I'm really grateful that you were able to do that. Thanks. Definitely. It was actually all Bowie's plan. He tried to knock me offline so that way he could take my cast. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> plan the entire time. I know. What a plan. He's so devious. Unfortunately, I ended up knocking some Proving Teams as well. 
<laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. The vitriol that you will get from that because everyone is so on edge right now about that. You don't even want to joke about it, dude. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna need SG to step up the courier game though here. I know you've got better courier, Stan King. I know you got them. This is a fine courier. Okay. Hey. Yeah, it's okay, but it's not fabulous, right? Yeah. Where is my fabulous courier? I know that these guys have one. You look over, we've got Waldy the Faithful still coming out over here. Ours, yes. Likes his pupper. This little dude's got a little hat and everything, man. I can't even click on him right now. There we go, we can box over him. Because he's all weird angle and jumping in the air. He's super excited. Easy breezy. Oh, he's in the bath. Ah. I'm back. Affirmative. Oh lord. Nothing like flaming your own players. Friendly ban. Well, that's the best type of banter. It gets a little awkward for us when they start going at each other's throats. Can you see Chan right now? Uh, Can I see what? Chan. In a fascinating position. Uh, hold on. Yeah, he is very excited. I mean, his mount. So we're ready to go. That's a uh, rhino, yes? Yeah. It's uh, maybe the cousin of uh, Mag Magnus? It's kind of awkward. <laughs> kind of a uh, baby Magnus. Baby Magnus. That's awful, because Magnus is sentient, so that poor creature. I guess maybe he loves Chen so much, he's just like, yeah, you know what? I'm cool with this. I'm fine with this. I don't know. Alright, so we have a game. Indeed we do. And it looks like bottom lane actually going to be starting off with RZS and Sword. I'm not sure if RZS is going to TP out though, because he's just got that ward on him. Most likely wants to place the vision down. Block their own camp. Maybe they don't want Sword to be able to just have his pick of uh, whatever he wants. It looks like he's in for a little bit of trouble here. He's trying to run out. This is going to be the first blood though, I think, Bowie. Yeah, first blood goes out to flee. What a nice start for him. RZS now trying to run away. There's just so much damage. Look at Costa. He's doing so much. Stan King going to be able to get the other kill. So these supports starting off real strong here. Nice. They actually saved the penitent. And that's one of the strengths of Chan. Sometimes you, like, a lot of people stop picking Chan because cannot send the creeps back anymore. Mm -hmm. You have the Holy Persuasion, and you're kind of useless, you're kind of like a lich. For the but right. with the Penitent, sometimes you can get kills, and nice that they grouped up as more there, allowing them to get to. Every coin helps. They can even zone a little bit with Penitent. Then. But not in the bottom lane. Both can. Yeah, it's funny that they both opted to block that camp. Yeah. So I guess it's, it's a little bit of a victory, right, for the side of the Dire, just because, you know, Radiant used their own ward to block it, and they were going to block it anyways. Yeah, but they blocked both of them, so, uh, and it was a nice because they used the ward as he was dying, so I guess as they couldn't check the Oh, that's they, true. They don't know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. So where do you think we're going to see this first blood? Do you think it's going to be top? I think it's going to be bottom? Probably. Probably top. And who do you think is going to get it? We, I don't have any predictions. I don't know what happened. We had predictions pop up yesterday for these games. Now I don't have anything. Maybe it doesn't work now for broadcasters? But I know I still have my Dota Plus. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower well, yeah, I feel like it's going to be top. Probably the Beastmaster right now. Uh, bottom lane, though, Sword. It's being healed up quite a bit. Costaville, he doesn't want to let this go. One more hit. And down goes Sword. It was close though. It was close, Bowie. He almost had the uh, yeah, the other call here top. Mandy got a pretty nice juke bot there. But with the X's, Clark level mm. have now. And for poor 4DR down here, that Tidebringer is just so brutal. 
Let's get himself a salve though. Figuring that he one. probably need it. Level. Oh yeah. And Laposa is being forced back quite a bit. Please just kind of doing some juggling from the low ground. I like the positioning on that. Still able to get things done, but doesn't put you in danger. Oh, the cancel out from Hiko. There'll be no tornadoes here, sir. None at all. Yep. Not oh yeah, right. They're trying to take it down. 80. Poor little wild wing. He didn't choose this life, it chose him. <laughs> One of my favorite BTS videos is actually the uh, with gods in the wild. Which one? Uh, it's I remember him dressing up as a chanter. <laughs> so I'm sure he loves it. That's what what I remember about him. No, no, it's um, it's a video where like somehow God is in the Dota world and he was living with blood golems, but he wanted to dance. He like leaves the blood about with people. I don't think I've seen this video, and you're gonna have to link me after. It's so good. Uh, I guess Bush. Uh... Bushy? Yeah, she is the one that actually directed. Oh, yeah, Pushy is so talented. Well, coming back here, uh, Ember versus... It's actually pretty even, though, for the... I expected it like, better. Please losing a lot of these creeps, though, in the top lane. He lost his, uh, I believe it was a centaur that was top. It's moved on now towards the satyr tormentor. But yeah. they've been very, very vigilant about taking down these creeps, which is very smart. But even then, like, it feels like he's being aggressive, but at the same time, he's already level creating chaos and farming. Very impressive. I guess the the, the first kills just gave him a little that high level. So we're just trying to hide out over here in the trees, get some experience, devour a creep here and there, but uh, I'm sure he's feeling a little bit nervous after dying twice in this lane. Don't want to give Luna that good of a start. Torrent combo lands over into 4DR, doesn't seem too, too worried about it. We get another centaur picked up here for Flea. Because trying to take down that satyr. A lot of damage coming out from these axes when Run comes out. Mandy trying to run himself away. That's a good shackle coming out from Hiko. Going to be able to slow him down, but I don't think they're going to be able to go for a kill. They are so Not sustainable yet. here. Liposa now has a bottle as well, so when he gets sent back, he's going to have like... Seven X's, maybe. Gonna have so. And yeah, they're not dying anymore. But if you check the gas charts, it's, uh, again, Chen, Beastmaster, Ember, and Luna. It looks like they always have four farms. <sighs> uh oh, top lane Laposa. He's in for some trouble. They try to send him home. They can't do it fast enough, unfortunately. But Laposa gets sent. Back to that base, but not the way he intended. Is mine. They're taking a lot of these creeps. Like, they're <laughs> look at RZSE's body block. He's trying to get the maximum amount of damage off so they can take it out. It's a lot of gold, too, if you take that. Oh, look, they even go for the shackle. Do they have enough damage? Oh, he go. <laughs> that just grazed his nose there. actually now getting back. Five CS. Yeah. Level four. I mean Slark has difficulty um laning usually a little bit, right? Because you really have to secure him that farm. Oh they land the shackle though! They missed the pounds, land the shackle, axes come out, they got the shadow where there's a rotation coming out here from Stan King. Laposa's still just dead. RZS gonna be able to get that kill. And we get a rotation here. We've got the uh, Skyrath Mage make his way top. I guess goes to be feeling that he's pretty secure in this lane with the two kills on Doom. Uh, what do we have for our levels? So we got level four on Doom. Luna's got level five, so she's ahead here. Does have to be careful once that level six comes online because uh, she's pretty fast, but I'm pretty sure that Doom can chase her down. Yeah, I expect uh, to be eight man. Um, Net comes out on RZS. Oh, he TPs out in the nick of time. I thought for sure he was a goner. I'd be able to get this tower because they have the catapult as well as the alpha one. The catapult is like way more damage. They actually TP. They got all the little skelly men too. Yeah, sword makes his way top. Are they switching? Yeah, they're switching lanes. Mandy just having too much difficulty dealing with all of these uh, 
creeps, spells. Like New Mexico has uh, much more to offer besides, besides uh, drawing some aggro there. Might be yeah, but it's more power. important that the the slark gets the farm, right? Yes. So he can deal better with this. Like he can just try to get those levels. Why are all the creeps shiny? Am I missing some particles or something? Radiance middle tower. Yeah, on the top lane they were all like sparkly and shiny. That was very strange. Maybe they, they added a uh, animation. Oh, maybe. That's actually a good point. I didn't even think about that. Because they're constantly making those updates so that way you can see. We do have a rotation here for DR. He's bottom. He's got a remnant laid down. It's going to go back mid, though. Put a little pressure here on Suits. But he can be back there in a moment's notice if he needs to. Here's a clip. Careful. They should be here they know about uh i think they do i think they're thinking all right we're missing a lot of people on the map let's not put our luna in that situation it's actually so funny if you check bottom both sg and midas they don't want that large camp they actually both block the same camp and they know they don't know about it mm -hmm. radiance wow. middle tower that's pretty allowed to be there so maybe that's why dyer's top tower is under attack a lot of pressure. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. All right, so we do have Mandy down here on the bottom lane. He's trying to get some more of the CS because he's been struggling that top. There's so much pressure though, right? SG's already putting some pressure over here on the tier two. We're making space as well, Radiance so that way uh, Ember can get some farming going. High level, level five, level, level five, eight, not some. Odd. I feel like the the first doom usage, kind of well. Send back, and that's another thing, right? Doom can purge the send back, but if you send back after doom, can, probably gonna save that. Mhm. Mm be very I important to be patient with it, I suppose. Yeah, unless you get an X, so that's something that Midas can do. Bridge your X to send back target. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Lots to say. I mean, it's similar right to an IO, because an IO is going to be able to, as we've seen in former games, where there was a Doom, they just, you know, teleport the hero out, and then they can come right back in again afterwards. In fact, it's almost better with the Isle, right? Because they can bring him back, but oh, Stan King immediately tries to silence him up. We'll be able to use that dark pack. And then he's still chasing after Stan King. Can he get himself away in time? I don't know. Mandy doesn't feel like he's going to be able to let him go. Still coming forward here. Actually, will back off, though. There is the rotation coming up from Lopose. He manages to get the roar up. In comes 4 yards. They'll take down Mandy. They should be able to take down RZS. Probably not going to be able to take down Sword, but that's a double kill for his troubles. And though this is going on in the top lane, oh, the doom comes out. <laughs> they get a kill on Costa Bill. Fine, right? Trade your carry, but that's just carry was way ahead. So I guess. Did commit. Well, she was awfully forward without the rest of the team, it felt. Because Flea was kind of in the general vicinity, but there's only so much that he can really do other than the send back. And if he's not close enough to do it, and especially if he was sitting so low, right? It would have been very difficult to try to get something done. You probably thought it to count, but in fact, he actually went wrapped around. Mm -hmm. Nice play by Sword Arm. Always pretty good. Uh, again, get it. Oh, look at RZS! RZS, you're not even that far forward, but you can't run from 4DR. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. He's yeah. just too captivating, right? 40 are gonna just jump forward and grab him if he sees him. Got a Cardi skill up so here. Strong right now. I don't know. You can off link Ember. Also. Middle tower is under attack. Every time. Oh, oh, he guesses correctly. Suits finds himself a flea. He's gonna use the boat as well. In comes Sword. Wants to help out just a little bit. Fernal Blade gets used. Pops that fairy fire, but flea. He doesn't have anything to like keep him alive in terms of burst. So he will get taken down. I don't even think a mech would have saved him though at that point. Yeah. It's not really good by yourself. Yeah. 
Still, 3k gold in for SG. Take every single. We'll have level 6 on the stanking. Everything. Primal orb. Well, they are hanging out together, so that seems to be the general idea of what they'd like to do. I'll have that medallion picked up on Beastmaster. Here we just see them kind of wander around together. In fact, yeah, there it is. Call the Bowie. There's going to be the smoke. And uh, there's a Hiko in their jungle. Doesn't look like they see them. They, the courier notice? Oh, they stopped the courier. They have no going to try to wrap around. Yeah, they wrap around. There it is. There's the roar. There's the Mystic Flare. And bye-bye, Wind Ranger. Yeah, it does look like they try to pair Stank and Lipos every time. I saw the X of Karif made games. That mm -hmm. So, uh, the BTS guys, they were talking about it, how important game. So that's why I guess Karif makes right now, because that much work. And Min Ranger to some extent, just need some lockdown in the power. TP coming out in the mid lane flee here. There's gonna be the silence immediately. They're still looking. They don't have the roar, but they don't need it. 4DR gonna be able to help take him down. Hika trying to run himself back. Has his eyes on Stan King, but he's a little too far away from his team. Those axes gonna be able to cut him down. That penitence 50 axe. But the problem when the chin is that high level is that as long as soon as they go. Ooh, suits. Torrent boat combo comes in and uh, bye bye flee. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> They're gonna take this tower and get Roche. Nope. Oh, and they still got their eyes over here. Oh no, Suits! Suits, he tries to... <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be enough. Dan King, with those flares, man. Damage. And yeah, even as a position 5, the Skyrim Mage is every time. As long as you have any lockdown and they, and they have a lot of it. Primal Roar as well as the tier very spammable. Mm. Don't feel like for the tier one. Yeah, it feels like all of Skyrath Mage's spells are like ultra spammable. Yeah. Only and that makes them like so a, strong a right now. Down stable. As well as the burrow strike. Point four duration. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. See, this is a... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Still gonna be able to get himself out, no problem, but... Trying to use that very defensively, so... I'm sure he's feeling a little... Sp little spooked here. Got Doom Radiant's online. I really want to go for this tower. What's the bright side? Give me the bright side. <laughs> Getting close to Shadow Blade. Mm -hmm. Oh no, again! They tried to throw the boat in! It's not gonna connect. They don't even get the uh, buff off on the Doom before he dies. This is looking kind of scary now for Midas because SG. They're in full beast mode, it feels. That golden helps. Yeah, yeah, oh no. This is a dead suit. X not gonna save him. Under sure, he's pretty so happy for SG though. <laughs> <under attack. laughs> that hawk. Oh, the hawk spots out Mandy over here. Dyer's Just keep moving it out of the way so Mandy can't cut it down. Just has Shadow Blade now. Bring I... I feel like they're. Oh, wow. 4DR? Got Hiko in the bottom lane. Did he still have like a remnant down there? I didn't even see him TP. No, he TP'd. He TP'd. Yeah, he, he killed Nico and TP back. That's a lot of efficiency. I mean, that's the name of the game for Dota 2, right? All about efficiency. And SG's playing this draft perfectly, right? They've got a Chen, so they want to be pushing early. They're feeling really strong with this Luna. They've got the Ore. They've got uh, Beastmaster. And, of course, you know, Stan King. Oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh. This is a big old bow coming in. It looks like they're not going to be able to grab anyone, though. Just throw it in. 4DR going to TP into the middle of everything. Those Searing Chains coming out with the Slight. There's the Eclipse coming out. They're trying to push everyone back so they can finish this Roach. And Coastal Field going to be able to grab it. Now, Sword, he's got his eyes on him. He's got Doom up, but I feel like he doesn't want to use it on this Luna at this time. They'll actually just back off from the side of Midas. That's rough because Mandy, uh, he was actually holding uh, the barrier with the Shadow Blade. Didn't want to item. 
mm -hmm. and he didn't get there in time. I feel like he maybe tried to snatch it, there was no Radiant Sentry there. I guess that she just broke the uh, and that and ended I mean, that is like, uh, you know, obviously that was a fight going on, but it also felt like the definition of a zoning ulti. They saw that Lena pops that Eclipse, and they're like, oh god, I don't want to be in a confined space with an Eclipse. But at the same time, you know, still managing to do damage and being able to take down Roshan with that last little bit. That was a very close... close fight, it felt. Stacks over here. That's really the problem, like, I understand what my uh -oh. is doing. Nah, he's gonna be fine. He's got wind run up. Unless if by some miracle you have uh not even miracle, right? 40 yard just happens to have a a remnant there, just zips and zips back again. Point for the those pretty heads. Middle tower is under attack. Five is 40 yard god. Alright, well. Well, I see this hawk flying around. I'm not sure if they're gonna just try to remove it or if they still want to do something else. They'll devour it. Okay. Now they ping it out. They immediately ping it out. They're like, there is danger over here. And they have wards, too. So they realize. Sword was hungry, man. He needed a snack, clearly. Alright. We're headed back mid right now. Got the Shadow Blade on Laposa as well. Oh boy. Man, again, efficiency, right? Fleet can send Ember home and then just Ember has a, a remnant up, just zips right back. One of my favorite comp Everywhere, you always have man. I don't really care about it. Very good. I do have all the elves fighters, but tower. they also Zombie are afraid of committing the elves because if you don't get a very committed fight as you can mm -hmm. Man, look at this Luna just getting hit in the face with the tower. Gonna trade off a little bit of that Radiant's aggro, take down the creep wave, heal up. I'm just gonna go right back and they can't do anything about it. Like, look at the positioning coming out from SG. It's just so good. If anyone comes up these stairs, they're gonna get a whole lot of Laposa in their face. And if they go the other way, you know, you've got to deal with this Luna who's dishing out so much damage. And that's not even to mention the fact that, you know, 4DR is getting ultra farmed here. It's gonna have that Maelstrom very, very soon. SG just feeling real strong right now. These drafts have been really, really good too, coming out from Stan King. Definitely have a couple of strategies. Especially... Uh, I'm not sure about giving... A lot of Ember Band. Game... I'm not sure if it's SG or Midas at Band. But I... I feel like maybe Ember is actually... Stupid. Just in the way that you can play with the Chan. Combination of Ember and Chan. I would much rather have play against Ember. So now you know how to trigger Bowie in his pubs, guys. If you ever end up uh, facing him, you get that Ember and Chen, and he's just gonna go, oh my god. Oh, Courier? No, it's not worth it. They've got their eyes on bigger fish. One pick Chen. Well, now I just have to pick Chen all the time, just to prove you wrong. Look at this. They immediately try to run themselves out. Stan King gets shown. Hika's gonna TP. Radiance top tower is under attack. Gages. Pretty much expiring. So Midas, they have all their high ground. We have a lot of farm on the Problem is how you enable the other. Because like everyone suffers. Oh, nice deward over here too. Midas will be able to clean up their jungle just a little bit. And Slark, oh man, this is, I hate heroes like Slark and Zeus who can just deward like this. As a support, it makes my life so sad. Radiance bottom tower I mean, everyone knows how to trigger Moxie. I stream my games, Bowie. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. I mean, 40 yard doesn't see. Oh, they actually go and they use the Golem on, and he's gonna be able to run himself away. No, Mandy thinks about going in again, but there's a Luna nearby. He can't afford to go in on that. 
That was... I mean, at this point, I feel like you've got to try to do something. I just... Uh, Ember, I think, was the wrong target because he's so easy. Oh, Seuss pops the BKB. Wants to try to get this kill on Skanky. You're going to try to send him home, though. Still gets taken down. Nice pincering action. They don't have to worry about the Skywrath Mage. I'm not sure if they want to try to maybe jump in on this. However, we don't have the uh, BKB anymore on Sooth, so... Try and wait this Skywrath Mage. Oh, SG. They might be... I do feel like they're going to way fast. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. These glaives, you know, they just slice through things like a hot knife and butter. You can just leave the Ember Spirit to whatever you want. So even with the gold and the Zark, and you just put the chain behind the Luna. I Back. I've got their eyes on Mandy again here. Laposa is just kind of rolling around here. Like already, Mandy just doesn't want to deal with it. Heads back home. How do we have on our Luna? It's going to be going actually for the uh, the Lincolns here. Got that BKB. Middle tower is under attack. Online. Very defensive almost, but I guess, you know, they're just figuring they're running at people nonstop. I've got a... Uh, Got a Chen there, too, to keep her safe. Ish. Doesn't want to get doomed, obviously. It's probably one of the top targets. Other than the Ember, maybe. And then, of course, you know, they could always just throw the Lincolns on the Ember if Ember decides to just jump forward, so... I can see the value of that. He's going for a Link. No. Oh, they find Hiko over in the mid lane. They have a... Or... It's just looking rough. This is a siege. This this is in Dota 2. This is uh this is like a medieval siege Sourdy. style here. They buy back. And, uh, the rest of the team needs to come home. Oh, a double damage does get picked up for Mandy though, so that could come in handy. Didn't mean to rhyme with that. X comes out over on Stavio. He's got that BKB if needed. There's gonna be the glimmer cape thrown down. Oh, Slark hiding out in the trees. Did they did know. they see him? It's not even worth their time. Look at that. They just walk on out. And they turn their attention to the person that has the uh, big team fight ulti. Doesn't have buyback. Damn it. He pretty much... Oh. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what Midas can do at this point. This Luna is like ultra farm, 14k net worth. You've got, you know... Yeah, it's just... It, it looks really, really difficult. Especially when you consider that the Slark really got no time to accelerate, it feels. Even though he does have, like, 11k net worth. But how does he get in the middle of all those heroes? This is not a hero that wants to be in the middle of, of five people. Right, so they just get a free lane of barracks because of that pick -off. And that's the strength of having Ember. Because you have the vision and you have... I'll take that. Look at the siege, the siege wagon. <laughs> oh my word, that's uh, that's pretty ridiculous. Now you can even ice armor the catapult. And flee being in the scene. Really giving him a chance. I mean, he's always been, you know, one of those players that everybody knows. His position for work is so good, but. Top really getting the chance to shine right now. I like how it's Oh, suits, suits. Oh no, it's turned around. He's got the BKB though. It's turning his attention to Stan King. X Torrent combo with the boat. Will be able to get themselves a kill. And uh, Laposo looks like he's just gonna TP out. Looks rough, right? Your position two has to be Pirate Mage. Yeah. He's farming though. He has the crystalis getting hold. So if they can hold, like they're playing very greedy on Midas, and I guess you hear that far before. Mm -hmm. He didn't get the VKP on Mandy, they actually went Asher. Got more damage. They have until Roshan respawns, but that's such a fast Roshan respawn. They're getting rough right now. I know. They have time to farm those items. That's uh, the issue is that Slark, you know, he's got 
okay amounts of farm, but they're rolling as five constantly. It's very difficult for him to get anything done, because the second he shows his face, he's just immediately torn apart. And we saw that actually over, uh, he was looking for someone to try to pick off, but he was over, oh boy, oh, all right, does manage to find himself a pick off though here on Stan King, so, small victories, but the Aegis of the Immortal does get picked up by the Luna, oh, look at this, 4DR, he's got his eyes on this fish, he wants to go fish, and can he grab him here, he's gonna throw out some more damage, there's gonna be the Shadow Blade coming out, he's actually got his own dust and the rest of the side of SG though, well, no dust on them. They have a gem, oh, they have a gem over on the Posa. So, yeah, Slark gets himself a kill on the Skywrath Mage, but he gets taken down himself. There's no buyback on this little fishy. This is gonna be probably no barracks unless they get the perfect five men go. You have to do it. Yes, you have to do it. There is an agent. But I don't know. It's so hard to get a hold of him, right? He's just gonna be zipping around. They have a Lincolns too on the Luna, so they could always put it on the Ember if they felt like he was in danger, because, you know, Luna, like you said, she's got the Aegis, so you want, don't want to dump everything on her. And, like, she's getting taken down pretty fast here. She's a fair amount of damage, but... Again, has that Aegis. There's a jump forward coming. Oh, the X comes back. He doesn't even care. He says, all right, I'll come back in. There's the Doom, though, and just it's not fast enough to throw Lincolns on him when you zip in like that. Maybe being a little too cheeky there. 40R, you are not the one with the Aegis. Yeah, they're fine. They commit two votes, and the Freon is way bigger than Timer before. That's true. Just wait. Yeah, Lapose, so they want to get this kill on Mandy. They get the raw Mystic Player oh, is Mystic unfortunately not going to land, but they still get the kill, and they're going to take down this Golem, too. No, I lied. They have no interest in the goal and they just want to finish the game. Right. Got it. The conga line of Sea Dragon. I'm trying to even use that Crimson Guard to buy some more time. Net gets landed over here onto Sword Suits. He's got the X on himself. Torrent comes out. Manages to take down one creep, but we'll go through. Doesn't land on anything, though. I don't know, this game is looking almost impossible. The Eclipse comes out from Coastal he's looking for an opening here and manages to pop that Link and will turn back around. They just want this tower and they want these racks. And this is a Luna, right? At mid-game, super duper strong. All those blades bouncing around to be able to take down buildings quickly. They pop the BKB, still have the Aegis too over on this Luna. I'm a little surprised that they opted to pop that BKB right then and there. But she'll actually go, she'll uh, get sent back home by Flea. And it looks like they're just gonna reset. And have a double damage. Probably the last lane of barracks for speed. Lucky Luna. Yeah, we know that Bowie's quiet, guys. I literally have him turned all the way up. He's using a headphone uh, headset mic, and uh, he had to make himself like a what do you call it? A makeshift uh, windscreen kind of thing. Basically, you guys want me to be low, or else. <laughs> had to be briefing there, and I, I feel like it's better to have a low game. I mean, some guy, some people might be into that, you know. This courier just zipping on through, keeping an eye on all of these uh, dire heroes. I've even turned my mic down, trying to balance it out. I... Very good. Uh, my mic literally broke mid casting yesterday, so still didn't have time to get a new one. The only spare one that I have is the beautiful Microsoft headset. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was, it was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, Bowie. This backdoor protection, I mean, Luna, you're not getting anything done over here. You need some creeps. You know, be impatient, I guess, but it's it just kind of looks silly. They send Ember back, he's gonna be back as a flash, though, no doubt. Oh, they have the jam. Careful, sir. Let me just take down the shrine instead. Yeah, that looks easy. The play here. RCS gets the jam, but at this point... That's nice, you'll be able to see people murdering you. There's a ward there, there's a ward. Your jam? He doesn't see the ward. 
he doesn't want you to get close. Oh, no, Luna pops that BKB, throws out a loose beam, just takes down Mandy like it's nothing. Still running for it. Has the Eclipse if they want to use it. Boat comes through. It doesn't do anything, though, to this Luna. With that BKB, it doesn't matter. They have a Lincoln's on her as well. And, uh... We get a buyback coming out from Skyrath Mage. He wants to be a part of those. They're going for Megas. They're going for the end, honestly. Look, there's going to be the Eclipse coming down. Sword trying to run himself out. He's got that Crimson Guard up. He's trying to run away, but he's going to get held in place with those Shearing Chains. In comes poor DR. They use the Hand of God. Heals everybody up. That's a triple kill. And it looks like that's going to be game, folks. All right. So, All right. I mean, it was a good showing. Uh, by Midas, but they kind of put themselves in a very tough position. Having the Slark to deal with that aggressive chance, Karev made this master. They, like, those were the third